This is McFly Angler. starts now. For a hook, we will need a long shank saltwater hook like these from Risen Fly, and today I'm tying a size 4. We will need to bend the hook up so it keels better and sits at the bottom with the hook point up without adding too much weight. So stick just the eye in the vise and then bend it like so. Then place the hook securely in your vise. For thread, you will want a strong thread, and today I'm using Vivis 140 Power Thread in hot orange. Start the thread up near the hook eye and then cut off the waist. Bring the thread down into the bend of the hook slightly and then back up a wrap or two. Now we need some gold crystal flash. Cut off five to six strands, then double them over and cut them in half to make 10 to 12 strands. Measure out the strands to about a hook shank length and then tie them in to make a hook shank length tail. Then pull the forward facing strands rearward and tie them down rearward. Then cut this side off the same length as the other side. For antenna, trim off one strand of pearl crystal flash and then fold it in half. Measure out two hook shank lengths, and then tie in the flash on top of the hook shank with a couple tight wraps, and then trim off the excess. Bring the thread up to the hook eye, and then build a bit of a thread bump right behind the hook eye. Now we need some brass dumbbell eyes. Today I'm using 4mm in gold color. Tie the eyes in directly on top of the hook shank with X wraps and under wraps to really lock them in tight. And with your thread right in front of the tail. Now we need a brush. This is basically a tarantula brush from EP, but I make my own brushes. I will link to a video where I made this specific brush in the description section if you would like to make your own. Otherwise, you can buy the very expensive EP style brushes. Tie the brush in and bring your thread up to just in front of the dumbbell eyes. Now make wraps with the brush up the hook shank with slightly open wraps, ensuring to pull the fibers rearward with every wrap. Make a wrap right in front of the dumbbell eyes and then pull the brush forward underneath the eyes and then capture it with your thread. You will trap some fibers with the thread, so brush it out with your fingers until you aren't capturing as much. Make two tight wraps over the wire with your thread and then pull everything back and make a few wraps in front of the brush as well. Get some fine tipped wire cutters and cut off the wire close. The tip of the wire is sharp, so make sure you push this down with your nail or it will fray your thread. Go ahead and wet finish your fly now. For added security, and to ensure that the eyes don't move, let's brush on some of this ultra-thin resin from SolarEvs. Cure it with your UV light, and it will keep this fly very durable. Now it's time to pick out the brush, and release any trapped fibers. Once it's fully brushed out, then pull the fibers up towards the hook point, and then cut them at an angle from the hook eye to the hook point. Then choke the fibers downward and cut them flush at the bottom of the hook. Now stroke the fibers sideways and cut an angle outward like so, and cut on the other side as well. You can trim up the parts that you missed to form a bit of a crab shape. And there we have it, the finished crack crab, which is basically a variation of the redfish crack fly that I came up with to fish for redfish in the Gulf. It's easy to tie and small enough to cast very easily. It also sits perfectly on the bottom with the hook point up. When you strip the fly, it will lift the front end up and look like a crab in a defensive motion. Let me know what you think of this fly in the comment section. As you all know, I've gotten you all discounts from www.risenfly.com. They manufacture all their own hooks, rods, reels, fly tying tools, and other gear for fly fishing. Not only are the prices at their shop very good already, but like I said, they're offering you 15% off of your first order with them. So go to www.risenfly.com and type in McFly at checkout for a discount on your entire cart. I want to also thank all of my patrons who support me. For as little as a dollar a month, you can help support this channel and also get some great perks like early access access to my videos, participate in live streams, and even discounts on purchasing flies I tie and sell. Yes, that's right, I do sell flies hand tied by me. If you want to order, you can do so through Patreon for that discount, or just place an order by finding me on Instagram or Facebook. Or if you don't use social media, then you can go to my YouTube homepage, click the About section, and then click View Email Address and email me with your order. I want to also thank all of you who share all my videos and your continued support by hitting the like button and being my subscriber. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.